Youth work to me is something more than just working with young people. Lots of people work with young people. The police work with young people. Schools work with young people. Independent teams work with young people. But youth work for me is something special because it's something which creates a space for a dialogue between adults and young people and between young people and other young people. If you look at what's been happening in Scotland this week with young people, 16, 17, 18 year olds, getting out there, getting involved, saying, yes, we're glad to be taken seriously. Youth work listens to young people. We create safe spaces for young people. And that's nothing to do with health and safety. Although I could see that um, a building like this now is slightly more exciting than perhaps having the concrete dropping on the roof when you sit here. It reminded me of when I worked up at Ellesmere and the um, town surveyor came in. We had a crack in the ceiling. And he did a mark on the ceiling and he said, when that crack hits that, pick up your books and run. Um, and the ceilings were falling down. And those are the sort of premises that young people and youth workers have worked in almost ever since I came to Sheffield. The really sad thing is that youth work is kind of sparing because you only get worked over if somebody up there thinks you need it. And that's all wrong to me. They can do that. But what we need is this kind of work on the ground, creating safe spaces for young people to challenge and be challenged, to make mistakes, to learn, to grow, to set their own agenda. And that, to me, is at the very core of youth work. And this place is an absolute beacon for that. I first met Richard when he came to us to do youth work training. And then you could see that there was somebody who had that passion and that understanding and that belief. Forget all the books, forget all the theory, forget all the nonsense. This was somebody who knew how to do it and what needed to be done. And he worked and he worked and he worked. And when we said to him, what about university? What did you say? No, can't do that, I can't do that. Oh no, not for me. And he can. And he did. And he's one of the students, I think still, ex-students, alumni, did I say that word? that Sheffield Hallam is most proud of because he is doing what the university is there to do, to work with local people, to bring them in, to learn from them, and they walk out there with their heads held high and agree, a degree in their hand saying, now I know I can. And I think that kind of example here has been something, again, which is just inspiring, and I hope it's a kind of challenge to everybody who says, oh, not me. Everything is for you if you want it. Everything is for you if you can believe in yourselves. And places like this give you that opportunity to believe in yourself. Because believe me, youth workers believe in young people. That again is one of our cornerstones.